Hi guys, I've Clash Right here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Highly Farming Raids. Today I've got a few cool raids I got yesterday actually. I didn't know to get these raids today. So the first one we have here is a pretty decent uh, Highly Farming Raid, and it's got loads and loads of golden elixir in the mines and pumps. Sadly, I did not take all my archers with me because I was stupid. I didn't check my camp before I went out farming. All I had was the, I think it was 144 archers and 4 lightning spells. And so I tried to do what I could on those gold mines, but I just didn't get all the loot because of that. And so. It, it, you kind of you get these moments in Clash where you realise I screwed it up, like on war raids where you get your spells or whatever like that. You do it once and you don't do it again because you realise how much you fucked up because you you either lose a raid or you don't get all the loot like in this one, and so you never do it again. So the next one here is that most of the loot is in the is in the storages. I don't think there's really any loot in the mines and pumps. So we had the lightning spell, those two mortars. Weirdly, the first mortar didn't go down, but the second one did. So. Uh, just weird game mechanic that happens. So we get most of the loot in this one. We think we leave one storage at the end, which does suck, but you know that's just how it goes sometimes. So we drop our clan castle down with some archers in it, because that's really all I all I have. And I think I got some wizards in there as well. Yeah, I got some nice level six wizards in there. And as well, we've got stuff thirty archers left to keep spamming them over, and just feed them in to distract their mortar. And so the queen takes the mortar down in one shot. And so we've got two storages left, we've already got 200k gold, and the gold is what we're after this raid. So, we've just got to take care of that clan castle, archer take care of that expo, and as well we get a little bit of DE from this, because there's a nice DE storage right there. I realised we've still got some archers left, so I, I put them on the town hall, because the town hall's exposed. And sadly we didn't get the level 11 gold storage, we've got this like level, I think it was 9, 8 or 9 gold storage. I mean, it, it's still, I'm still thankful to have it, but it's not really what I wanted. So, once the Archer Queen is taken care of that storage, and we've taken care of the Town Hall, the raid will be over, I think we surrender, and we get 245,000 gold and 500 DE. So that's really good. Next one we have a full Mines and Pumps raid. This one's really cool, because all the gold and elixir is in the Mines and Pumps, and there is so much available. Sadly, pretty much no DE, but loads of gold and elixir, 300,000 of each. These are quite rare nowadays, we don't really find many of these, but when you do, it's just an amazing feeling, because you get loads of loot from it, and... <clears throat> that's just amazing. So we just get 50% and we surrender. Fast raid, that's all we need. We don't need to get anything else. So we're not really a girl's trophy, just I like to win when I can. So we have a decent raid here once again because the guy boosted his mines and pumps and obviously hasn't collected them for a while, so we steal the loot. And so yeah, thank you very much to him for boosting his mines and pumps because we just took it all. And I'm sure he's quite pissed about that. But there was some gold in the gold mines of, uh, in the gold storages but I decided instead of going for that I would go for the gold gold go for the mines of pumps because there'd be more loot in there than there would be in the storages and I could get more of the loot in those. So as I would drop a hand castle down because at the moment in the merged forces we're recruiting quite a lot. So <clears throat> so anyone who wants to come to merge forces, it's level eighty five plus. We do accept level eighties as long as you've got a decent base, no premature town halls and you'll be let in. And if you don't get in well, just just keep upgrading your base, and we'll get you in eventually. We we never ha hold grudges or keep anyone out of the clan just because they have a, they had a bad base once. Upgrade, and you'll get in eventually. <coughs> so we're just trying to get that fifty percent. I think we get it on this raid because we have plenty of stuff left. We still have our heroes left. I try not to use my heroes because obviously they've got a regen after. But luckily, in the new update, there is no massive regen times. I dropped my king and queen on the side there to try and get that last gold gold storage right there. Lightning spell that mortar because I know it's going to be an absolute pain. Because obviously when I use their ability, we get loads of these little tier 1 troops, which are barbs and archers, and I don't want those being taken down by the mortar. <coughs> so guys, you still hear my voice, now. I'm still a little bit ill, I'm still on the last video, but I'm recovering, and I'm playing a lot of Clash. So the Queen takes care of that last, di la that last elixir storage, and then she goes straight onto that gold storage, which is really good, it's exactly what we wanted, the level 11 gold storage. Sadly we couldn't take care of that level 10 gold storage, but hey, we still got plenty of loot from that level 10, from that level 11, sorry. So as soon as this um, tester goes down, that's pretty much the end of the raid. <coughs> we surrender there, because we don't need, we don't really need to get a town hall. And so 260k gold. And here we have a, another full mines and pumps raid. Sadly, they hadn't upgraded, they hadn't maxed out their mines and pumps, so they were at mostly level 10, some level 11, but still very good loot. And it, it's not hard to clear these out because most people put their mines and pumps on the outside. Sadly, there's that there's that elixir pump on the inside. I think we do take care of that, but still, a bit annoying. And so we use our queen. I think we use our king at some point. Maybe not. No, we don't need to because we've got that we've got that one star, and that's all we really need. Because I just want to keep high trophies. 
So at the moment, that seems to be where the loot is, quite high up in trophies. And then on our next raid, right here, we've got another really nice Miser Pumps raid. Not The Miser Pumps aren't full, but they're majority of it. I was like about 80% full, these Miser Pumps. And so once these archers go through and clear all this stuff out, it's a really easy raid. We're already down 50k of each because we still on the rest of it. And that's that last gold mine. And then we just like, then we just get that 50% because of what we need. And yeah. Was a bad job by King on the, in the corner. Because you see, if he goes in the corner, then he takes care of the builder's hut. And as well, he can take care of the other buildings around there to get us to 50%. Because lavatories have really low hit points, uh, just like barracks. Sadly, that, that castle did not get destroyed by those archers. I had to drop a lightning spell. Do to take care of it and finish it off. And that's the end of the raid. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you next time.